Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of my vanilla Minecraft series, The Outpost. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, today we're starting off in the wool uh, little workshop over here because I needed to get a bunch of wool because we have we have a lot now, and I need to find a use for it. So what we're going to do is go up top, and I'm going to lay out some areas where I want a few builds to go with for the village. So, bye. There it goes. <laughs> Took a little while. All right, let's head back up here, and we'll go see where I want to put some more... Uh, buildings up here. Okay, I know that I want to put my little fishing village kind of area right over here, so I might tear down this uh, hill a little bit, or I might put a building up on top and then like stairs to go down. Um, I need another building for over here by my little workshop. I'm going to try to jump on this. There we go. Um, this is the, the armory and stuff, but I need another one for like leather worker and, uh, you know, uh, weaponsmith and an armory all in different areas and then I know I need some farms I need like a barn and a farm area so I need to find some flat ground which if I can fly let's see farmers might go huh it's gonna be a tricky one because this is all kind of hilly but I think in this back corner over here would be a fairly good spot for it since it's not too like jagged hills right go up a little higher yeah, I think over here would be a fairly decent spot for some farms. So yeah, I'm going to mark out what buildings I want in the little color here and just kind of uh, lay it all out so it makes it a little bit easier on me later when I come back and try to actually build the buildings. And then that way I can start putting the smaller buildings in between just to fill this place up. So let's do this real quick. So we know that the dock is going to be in this area here. So probably, excuse me sir, follow me around being rude. I'll probably have a little stairway going down, down this path here, because you can't really, you can't, you can't get down here. You have to go all the way around. So I'm going to terraform this place out a little bit, and I think I'll put the main building right up here. But I'm just going to go ahead and mark out an area around this way, so I know that in this area is going to be, come on, <laughs> this area is going to be a uh, little fishing building, and I'm not really doing it in any specific little spot. But I think that area would be a good little spot for the, the main area or the main building. And then it's getting dark, so I'm gonna have to sleep real soon. Let's see their bed here. Nope, nope. Oh, they can sleep before we can. Is there a bed over here? There is not. Okay, I'm gonna have to run over here. Okay back from that little area. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm probably going to have to drop this down a little bit because I don't really want it this high. But the fishing village will be right over here, so we'll probably have one building in that area, and then oh, that's where I was hiding a, hiding a villager when I first started. And I'll probably put another building somewhere over here. So I'm definitely going to have to tear these buildings down. So yeah, something like that. This might be just one longer or bigger building, and I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. So that's going to be that color, and then let's grab this other blue, and then we need another building right over here. It's going to be the other part of the armory, forge, weaponsmith area. They're all kind of in the same basic location around here. So I'm going to do another building. I'd probably start it here. Let's make it this size. Hello there. Got that one. I just kind of have it here so it goes along that walkway. So that'll be another building there. And then, let's see. I need a farm and stables. I also need like a marketplace in the middle here, which I'm thinking I might do trading hall kind of place over here, but like an outdoor one, so it looked more like a marketplace. So, let's see, the path would actually... You know what, I'm going to use red as the path, so the path is going to go up here. Alright, let me get back to this side. So the path will just go this way. And maybe I'll have it come around this way, and just do a circle all the way around. Yeah, so the path will be like this. So I'm going to put a building inside here, or maybe multiple buildings. I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do with this little mall area. But I'll have some buildings in this way. 
all the way along this path here. So yeah, this is a pretty big size building and then I can do more marketplace kind of buildings on here. So I'll just do around this way, maybe a smaller one, like around there. Okay, I've got to extend this path, so I'll probably have part of the path come up this way. Let's see which way would be best to take it. i got to go up to the fishing village up here, so it's probably got to go somewhere in this way. Yeah, I'm going to say probably, probably around here. So let's just put a couple down this way. Sorry, I remember to, to terraform this. This way. Okay. Kind of follow where this path already is. Kind of down here. Um, This way? Yeah, I think this is going to have to go maybe in here somewhere. Yeah, so that one will come up this way. And I think another one's going to have to come down here. Kind of come around this way. Just to meet up down this side. Maybe a part of it will come up here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good like that. Okay, so it'll come around this way. Um, so here we go. Got buildings there. Probably have another one. Oop, that's not where I wanted to go. Come on. Let's see, which way would I go up to this side? Come around here. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to have another one come this way. So somewhere around here. Okay, so one path to go this way, then one comes over here. I come up around the side, around this side here. course I'm going to have to get rid of this ginormous thing here with all my villagers in it. So it's probably going to come through here and actually put a path around this guy here. Yeah, somewhere like that. And this path, okay. I think I got most of the paths going. Now I need to figure out the exact spot I want to put the farms. So I'm going to use orange for that. Oops, I'm not going to throw the orange away. There we go. This would actually be a pretty good spot for farms. There's not a whole lot going on over this way. There's some cave system I can clean up over here. There's a little house over here. Um, over this way is where the greenhouse and the mine starter base is. Okay, so I think the farmland is going to be this way. So it's going to be a little bit off the off the path here. So you don't want, you don't want the cows and stuff too close to, uh, to where most of the people are living. So I think it'll come up around this side. And be around here. Start the farms. So just big farmhouse, barn, all that kind of stuff around this side. Got to be pretty big. So yeah, somewhere in there. And then kind of just uh, farm fields behind this and just make a whole bunch of them and make it usable so I can just come by and grab them whenever I need to. Okay. I think I got a decent idea of where I'm going to put everything or not everything, but a lot of the things. So let's start tearing down some of these old houses. Like I don't want any of these anymore. So let's get rid of all this stuff. Clean it out. Okay, I got a lot of this cleared out, so I've got the other part of the armory and stuff there. I've got the little fishing area up here with the docks going to be that way. Uh, I forgot to put the road for the uh, the docks, so the red uh, wool, I'm going to put one that way. Let's see, over there you've got the marketplace, and then over here, yeah, right up there you can see the orange. That's where the farms are going to be, so the farms are going to be that entire area. Uh, I still need to do a school, so I'm actually going to do that right over here. And I had this really neat idea about making the school my um, village reader. 
and making it so when they're babies, they can't get out and they look like they're running around the schoolyard all day. And then once they grow up, then they can get out maybe. So um, I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. But yeah, I think that'd be a really good idea. That way this uh, village can just kind of auto populate and they can just start, start uh, breeding and just filling up the village and just have a bunch of them. And that way the, uh, if, you know, a zombie raid comes in and kills them all while I'm not paying attention or something like that, um, they can just repopulate themselves. Um, I am going to protect all the people I trade with, but I also want to do an actual trade hall um, underneath, like I was saying uh, an episode or two ago. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a lot of this cleaned out. Um, I'm going to probably clear out a lot of this space over here to do that school, and then I might spend some time doing some paths around just so I can get a feel for where everything's going to be and maybe put some smaller houses in just to just to to give places for the uh, villagers to start sleeping and, and working and stuff like that so let me uh let me go tear down a bunch of trees over here and I'll be back okay starting to work on this path going over to the uh, dock and fishing area over here uh, and I decided I'm going to put down like a wooden Wooden little uh, area here, so let me get all my wood stuff together. There we go. All right, so I think the little dock and pier or whatever you want to call it is going to come around this way. Um, I might keep some of that. I mean, this little this part's a little goofy looking. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's like a I don't know. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Weird generation, but I'm going to probably kind of have it come around this way and maybe have the dock come straight out this way. I might get rid of this grass here. Um, it doesn't really look like it's natural. I think it was here because the village generated right here. I think this was the uh, farm area that I had earlier, or this might have been the farm. I don't know. One of these. No, this is the little building. The farm area is right here. So yeah, this is all just not really supposed to be here. So I think I'm going to have to terraform all this. Um, and then kind of build the docks around the side here. So let me get started working on that. I'm going to get rid of all this grass and turn this all back into beach and uh, see how it looks from there. Yeah, going underneath, you can definitely tell that this is just for the uh, part of the village that came out. So I am going to have to get rid of all this here. It looks like it's just supposed to come around this way and then come up. But yeah, the village generation kind of like forced this entire part over. So yeah. Definitely getting rid of all this because that does not look natural at all. Okay, this is what I got so far. This little uh, walkway here, and it's going to go up uh, out to the docks that way, and then up the staircase this way. And this is where all the fishing village area is going to be. So yeah, I think I got a pretty good start on that. Definitely need to finish more of this. Um, probably going to extend this out quite a bit, and maybe make a boat. I've never tried to do a boat before, but who knows? Maybe I'll try to do one. There's a weird ghost block right here. I just can't seem to get rid of can't get rid of that little flowing water right there. Oh well, anyway. Alright, so let's try to get some of the rest of the, the uh, walkways done. I'll be back. Okay, it's coming in quite nicely. i got roads going around all the way here. Uh, this connects to the church here. It goes all the way around the building, comes around the side, goes up to where I'm going to have the farms over there, goes around the marketplace. I haven't done one going up to the school yet because I don't think I actually put down the little red wools to, to mark that out, so I haven't done that. But yeah, this rest of this is coming in pretty good. I've got to put in like the little fences all around the place just to, you know, give it some little more decoration, get some bone meal and all that kind of stuff. I have a uh, wandering trader right down there just hiding out. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I got all that going. Let's see on this side here. I got the docks. I've, uh, jump over that way. Got this coming up. That guy keeps going in the water. I brought him out of the water, and now he's back in the water. Ugh, what a jerk. Anyway, I got this running up this way. Um, I got that all leveled out. Comes down here. One wall, uh, road goes that way, and one comes around this way. And I actually filled all this in with grass, because this is just a big cavern right here. Um, it actually started here and just went underneath there. Um, let's see. This way, I've got to get rid of all these path blocks, because that's not going to make any sense anymore. But yeah, it goes all the way around this way. So yeah, I got a lot of the roads done. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and decorate some of them now and just make it look a little bit better and then uh, see how it looks from there and then probably do some of the buildings around here. Okay, a little bit of fences and some bone meal and this place looks a lot better. I'll just do a little quick tour just to show you the difference. Yeah, if you're ever looking to decorate a world and just can't figure out what it is, get some bone meal and 
I should put a torch right there. I missed one. All right. I put uh, torches like lights to the road on each one of those fences. Yeah, I put bone meal all over the place. I didn't really do much down there. Let's see, go over this way. I didn't bone meal any of this yet, so take a look how, how much better this looks when you're done with doing this. They're just that gives that a lot more a lot more color, a lot more variation, a lot more texture. Looks tons better that way. Alright, let's see if I missed any other else. I think I got all the way around here. I just gotta put lights on that one and right there. I've been using I've been using torches instead of lanterns. I forgot about that. The wrong things. I'll come back and and fix it later when I finish the rest of the village here. a uh, little bone meal over here. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Got some, got some company. Got the flag right over there. I don't really want to get the, uh, what's that called? The raid? I don't particularly want to do a raid today. So I'm just gonna, just gonna run over here. And I think I've got milk in. I don't know, I got milk somewhere. Let me fly over my, my little base. Whoops, that didn't work. Okay, I got a bunch of blocks, and I'm going to start building some just the smaller houses around here, just, you know, for places for... Got a creeper right there. Just places for the villagers, and he moved. Places for the villagers to live when I, uh, when I start breeding them up. Sucker. Okay, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to start putting some villagers around, or some houses for the villagers around. Um, i got to figure out some good spots. Uh, that guy needs a house. I'm going to build him one somewhere over this way. I think right here would probably be a good spot for one, so let's uh, get this area ready to go. Get rid of this thing. Let's dig out a little spot here. These houses aren't going to be very big houses, they're just basic things for the villagers, you know, like a house and a, and a workstation in them, basically. Not much at all. And i got to fill in some holes. Okay, so I don't even know how I'm going to do these houses yet, so let's just uh, try to wing it. Let me get this thing out real quick. Put it down right here. Get one of those out. One of each of these. What am I missing? Stone brick. Do I have any in here? I don't. I gotta make some. There we go. Okay, so get rid of that guy for now. Put all these over here. Organize this a little bit. All right. Let's put. Um. I think that's a decent size for a little house. Be a little wider on this side, but let's go up here maybe. There's a one, two, three. Ah, it doesn't really matter. I'm not doing much with this property, so just do it like this. Of course there's a tree there. So fill that in and it's gonna be right here. But kind of built into the side of this hill a little bit. So let's get a floor. Um, that's probably enough. I'm gonna go get my uh, workbench and stuff. Okay, let's get some slabs. Do the flooring here. Let's see, so I need a walls. Let's just do. Um, yeah, this is going to be a pretty small place, isn't it? Those are going to be right here. So the floors will just be 3 by 6 by 5. About right there. It's enough to have a bed. Yeah, that'll work. So let me put two windows right there and one right here. Nothing on that side. And I gotta put a roof on top and put this here. Alright, I gotta get rid of this. 
And that one's good. Get rid of that one. That one's good. Okay. Let's come up one more. And do some stairs. Okay, so let's have the stairs start here. See what that'll look like. Okay. Does that look something basic? That's that's all right. Never really made one with the things like this here, but I guess it'll work. It's a little goofy. I need to put some windows in there, but I think if I decorate it up a little bit, it should look a lot better. I'm not really going to do the insides at all. I'm just going to do path blocks. Okay, got one little half done. This will be my base for now, just so I can use this as my little storage area. Got to go get some glass. I'll be right back. All right. One house done. Let's put another one right over here. Yeah, I think right back here is good. So I've already got a bit of a thing built or uh, dug out here. Let's go. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. We're going to fill this in so I can see exactly how big I'm going to make this. Shoot. There we go. Okay. So right over here, let's do um, it's down here. Got to get all my stuff out of here. Actually, no, I don't. Just going to make a new one. So let's go. Let's do a bigger one right here. Start it. Start it here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go there. And two, three, five, six, seven, nine. How about right there? Yeah, this is going to be a big one. So right here, here, it's up there. I just saw something. Sheep? Yeah, okay. Thought there was more pillagers around. Okay, so we're going to have it step up here. I'm going to give it off the pathway, and then they kind of come up a little thing here. So, stairs. I see things out of the corner of my eye. I think it's a pillager now. I haven't seen them around here in a while, so now I'm just expecting them to show up all the time. So let's do... Uh, right here it comes up. And into a little porch. No, I don't want this one just to be a rectangle. It's uh, I'm gonna have to fill most of this in, I think. So let's get rid of right here. I gotta get it my shovel fixed. I don't have mending on this one yet. I need to do that real soon. So let's take this guy out till about here. Oh, I'll do it here. And then do a little room off the side. Two, five, yep. So that goes there. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that's how big that's going to be. That works out. Get that back down, and let's just do random spots around here. 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Gives a unique shape, a little L-shape kind of thing. Put a couple of torches in here just wherever for now, just so nothing spawns while I'm doing the roof. Okay, so next let's get some more stuff. All right, well, this house is done. I've got most of this covered up. Um, this was all the yeah, little cave underneath there. I still hear a skeleton, so I must not have lit it up very good. I got rid of all the path blocks that were around this area and covered them back up with regular grass. And this was a cave, so I've got that all covered in now. So this is a looking a little bit more done. Um, I do need some more houses around here, so I think I'm going to do one probably about right here, right in the corner here. Probably a fairly small one. So let me get started working on that. Oh, and I've got mending on the shovel now, so I went and repaired it real quick. Okay, well, I think I got that one done. So I've got a total of uh, three houses in there now. So that little one I did, and then this bigger L-shaped one. And then I got this two-story one here with a couple of... Uh, what are they called? Dormer windows? One on each side there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm definitely not doing the insides yet. Um, I will... Thought I saw something out there. I will be doing the inside to give the villagers like a workstation and a bed so they can all actually have a home. Um, but yeah, for right now, I'm just putting the outsides in there because that's kind of all I need. These guys keep following me around. He doesn't have anything I want either. All right, just doing a little recap of what I got done so far. So I did most of the paths. I got out of that, uh, the uh, areas blocked off or marked off where I went to buildings to go, and I got those three little houses over there. And I think that's all I got time for for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.